Now we want to talk about draining the fuel filter reservoir. This reservoir is located on the front top of the engine and your fuel filter is located inside of it. On the back of it there's a little handle that you can open that will drain the fluid out. Now this particular motor came out of a van and it uses a remote type system that will be right up here uh, because you can't get to it in a van and you, you will pull this open to uh, let the uh, open the reservoir and drain the fuel. Usually there's a lot of water that accumulates in the bottom here and, and a lot of dirt. Let me show you one that's been neglected and show you what it looks like. Okay, this particular item is your fuel filter reservoir. It's located on the top of the motor and your fuel filter sits down in here and this, this is where it bolts in from the front and your incoming fuel comes in here and your return line is here and then your two fuel lines going to your uh, to your cylinder heads, you know, one to the one to the right and one to the left, come out here. Now, inside the bottom of this, let me show you, let me put some light on this, accumulates a lot of crud. I don't know if you can really see it down in there, but there's a, it's freaking rusty down in there. And it's because the water is accumulated there and nobody's opened this little pepcock. This sits on the back here. And there's a tube that's attached to it that drains it down to the ground. And you just flip this little thing open. Okay, and then all this stuff will drain out. Now, if you have an excessive amount of stuff in here, it'll block the hole and you can't get any of it out. <laughs> a lot of the stuff that comes in here that I have to deal with every day is because of just sheer neglect and ignorance. Okay, they just don't know any better. And I'm here to tell you so, uh, what you need to do so you don't have to be ignorant and be facing, a, facing an expensive repair bill. Now, I'm here to tell you, I'd, this, this engine here, I'd have to pull the, half the fuel system apart to clean all this out. Uh, it came out of a wrecked truck and I sold the motor and I had to change this out anyway, but, but I couldn't in good conscience uh, send a truck out that's got the shit like this down in the bottom there. I mean, all that's going to do is, is screw up the injectors and clog filters and whatnot. So it's very important that the maintenance and, and part of the injector tune-up is to drain the uh, fuel filter reservoir. Let me, let's go to the truck and I'll show you exactly where it is on the truck. Okay, your fuel filter reservoir is located right on the top of the engine. Okay, and you don't, you know, you can drain this without changing the fuel filter. But it is the first step. And right around back here, right around on the back, right here, okay, is a little handle. Let me just flip it around. Let's flip it. See, you can hear the fuel going out. Put your little pan underneath your truck to catch it. And once it's empty, and once it's empty, it will drain out all of the water that's accumulated in the bottom and most of the dirt. Now, if you really want to get the dirt out of there, leave that petcock open and turn the key on. This particular one's a 99 model, so it's an electric fuel pump. It'll push all the crud out. And that's a good idea, too, but that's only if it's excessively dirty. It's very important to drain this reservoir during the injector tune-up process because if any of this dirt gets past the filter or water gets past the filter it's going to wreak havoc on your fuel injection system so make sure you do this one simple procedure and it will save you a whole bunch of trouble in the future the last step in the process is the stanathine performance formula in the fuel tank this treats up to 60 gallons you know and I suggest to do this procedure every 5,000 miles or whenever you do your oil change interval Put some of this in there. Now this particular tank in this truck is a 30 gallon tank, so we're going to put about half the bottle in there. You don't need to use this stuff every single time you fill your truck with fuel, but you know what, every few thousand miles it's a good idea to put some in there. Once you've done this and it runs through your injectors, it will help to keep them clean and free of deposits. Uh, your, and, and now you have both the fuel side and the oil side of your injector protected and cleaned. Save yourself five grand and spend a little bit of money every 5,000 miles and do this and just you'll be just amazed at the results and if you've never done it before I encourage you to go out and do it immediately especially if you're noticing some hard starting or if you're, if you're finding some drivability problems. I'm not going to say that this is going to reverse the effects of wear and tear on your engine but it certainly will keep the injectors that, that, as you have them in the truck in good shape. We're going to conclude here with the fuel injection tune-up. Change the top end oil. Drain the fuel filter. Put an additive in the fuel. Any one of these things, if done on a periodic basis, will have a positive lasting effect upon your fuel injectors. 
but you got the triple whammy here. You do all three of these things on a periodic basis, say every, every oil change, every 5,000 miles at the very minimum, uh, you will find that the long-term effect on your injectors is, is that they're going to continue to work uh, way past when you'd expect to have to start dealing with them. Now, this doesn't reverse the effect of, of worn-out injectors that are already there, but hey, it will keep the ones that you got running as long as they possibly can and save you thousands of dollars and hours of aggravation having to deal with this. Just do these simple procedures and you will have the benefit of a good running truck for a long time ahead. If you're looking for a simple hand pump to do this job with that is uh, simple and cheap and inexpensive, uh, this one was available from West Marine for less than 10 bucks and it's actually for doing lower unit oil on uh, mercury out dries but it works out real nice you, you slide this tube into here and you put it right down in there it just barely fits inside there and then you can pump the oil out with this this is a cheap alternative for putting together a big apparatus like we use from, for day to day because we're constantly doing this type of procedure